Hello and welcome to today's What the Hell is on My Disc? And it's a screensaver festival today. I've got two discs which have a PK zip file split across them because you could do that in the olden days if you had multiple files or large programs to zip which were bigger than the size of a disc. You could span the entire zip structure over multiple discs. So I have extracted them with much faff, I might add, because I couldn't mount multiple A drives so I had to copy them across and concatenate them in DOS with a copy procedure. Ah, just faff. Anyway, here's all the screensavers. I've copied them across to a Windows directory or the Windows directory. So let's find out what they are. Most of these screensavers, a lot of these are from previous what the hell is on my discs. So let's see if we can work out which ones we haven't done. Amazing. I think I've done that one before. I think that was the maze program where someone walks around. Yeah, there we go, we've done that one. Bill posters. I don't think we've done this one yet. Ah, these were some form of advanced screensaver. I remember these. They've got their own loading facility. You know, a screensaver means business when it has to load itself with a little loading bar. There we go. There's Bill posters down the bottom. Can you see him having a little wander? Now, yeah, he wanders about the screen and... What's he doing? He puts up posters, that's it. <laughs> what have we got there, mate? Circus. And if you leave him running for long enough, obviously he fills the entire screen with posters. What other posters have you got in your pocket? You nonchalant twat. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? He's only doing a job. Come on, do your next poster. I haven't got a day. Oh, come on, Matt. Right, let, right. screw you. Let's see if we can speed you up. No, we can't speed you up. Okay, we'll try that again. Oh, God. Loading things is tedious enough, but when it's a screensaver, that's a whole new ballpark. 1994, Ziff Davis UK Limited. There he is again. All right, Bill, what poster have you for us today? But the bill came back the very next day. Bill, hurry up, put the fucking poster up. <sighs> bill, you're really trying my patience. There we go. Karaoke night. Excellent. Okay, the next screensaver. Uh, bulldozer. Test. Test. There we go. Another Ziff Davis UK Limited screensaver. I must have got these in some sort of group. Maybe off a cover disc or something. And as you can see, this one plows up the screen. Let's dig up the road! Only um, astute Peppa Pig fans will realise where that's from. Yeah, I remember this one. He just scrunches away your screen little by little. Can we speed you up? Because it would be nice to have some... Oh, we get hesitant. Okay, let's put the tea break down to... Let's put it up. Thirsty work. Artifacts. Bonanza. Ah, yes. He uncovers stuff in his progress. As he digs up the screen, occasionally you'll find skeletons and the like underneath the screen surface. <laughs> I mean, you forget, but screensavers were massive in the 90s. They were such... It was entire software packages dedicated to screensavers. They were entertainment in their own right. I mean, today we don't really use screensavers at all. I feel like we're missing out, but it was like an integral part of the operating system. He's having a tea break. You really just started, mate. That is some slack work. Some people. Anyway, I can't be asked to wait for you to uncover something. So let's go straight to shoots. Ah. 
Ah, yes. They always start at the bottom of the screen, these ones, don't they? I think we can all work out exactly what's going to happen here. But it requires the plane to get fairly high up for it to happen. Uh, let's speed this up a little bit. Now, I'd like to say that that incredible wait was worth it, but I'm not entirely convinced. Now, if you go, oh, it'd be nice if one of them just dropped to his death. That would make it far more interesting. Please say that happens. Just the occasional fail rate. Just, you know, just one, one in five, one in ten just failed to open, and he plunged to his abysmal, gruesome death. It's unlikely to happen, isn't it? <sighs> oh, you can't! It does happen! We've got... Okay, it does happen! Let's change the shoot packer, pa packer to a psychopath and try again. I've got to wait all that... I can't speed the plane up. Oh, passes over drop site. One. Skip takeoff sequence. Even better. Right, let's try that again. <laughs> so much better. <laughs> oh, little wings. How nice. They're all going to heaven. I assume they haven't shot anyone during the war. Oh, this is marvellous. Anyway, next screensaver. Uh, clock craters. We've done that. Dinosaurs? Oh, we've done that. That's from a, a previous disc. Let me just see which ones we need to go through here. So we've got Bill Post, Bounce, Bus. I haven't even seen half of these. Let's rearrange that a little bit. Half of these aren't even on here. Um, okay. We've done Leaking Roof before. London Bus. Don't think we've done London Bus before. Let's give that a go. London Bus. 1994. By Strange Software Limited. Oh, look! It's a double-decker bus! before all the bendy buses came in. And it's dropped no one off at all. Can we change that? Probably not. Let's move on. So we have Memory Jogger. Oh, it's a picture of a brain. It's always good when we have a picture of a brain. Just a message program, so you can pop your own message in there, and um, shows you the time. Delightful. Microsoft Scenes 2.0, I believe this is where, yeah, we need the uh, DLL file for that, but you can put your own pictures up and it will display your pictures. Plasma Clouds. Ah, this used to be one of my favourite screensavers. Oh, check this out. Fractal Delight. This looks, this would have looked marvellous on an Acorn Archimedes. It would have stormed through it. 
look at that. It's like a weather system or something from a crazy disco situation. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's try pools. Let's try. Let's change. No, we can't change any of that. All right, don't worry about it. Oh yeah, that is some funky psychedelic craziness right there. That is proper nineties. It's like a hyper glow T-shirt. Love it. All right, let's go to quilt complex. I've got a bit of a quilt complex. Someone told me my quilt was shit once. It hasn't been the same ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Right, so it's going to do some sort of a quilt, isn't it? Just a patchwork quilt. Excellent. Can we change the settings for the quilt? Yes, we can. Two by two, small thread, always lots of colours, differential. Time on screen, brief. He looks like he's having a nice nap, doesn't he? Oh yeah, that is a nice pattern. It reminds me of a pattern you could make in basic on the spectrum through random pixel distribution. What an absolute montage. As montages go, this hits the nail on its proverbial face. All right. Schmelzen, we've done that before. Scream Bouncer, that must be the bounce one. Oh, yeah, I know. This is one of the ones which takes your screen and chucks it all over the place. Very quickly, I must... Add. Let's um, make it large. Let's make it like that. And let's test it again. You know, you might think, you know, screensavers, they just, they were just an essential item. All you needed was it to make the screen go black. But if you were doing that, then you weren't having fun with Windows. Ah, these things are just <laughs> entertaining. Spider, uh, we've done that before. Tumble wire, is this the last one we have? Oh, it's a three-dimensional box. A cube, if you like. Can we fill the sides in? Whoa! Ah, oh, so many options. You could, okay, so it can do more than a box. What else can we have? A fan, a fan, a digital clock, a analog clock, a swirly thing, a hexagonal thing, a clock, a clock, a fan, a fan, a clock. Yeah, you get the idea. I think that is pretty much it, isn't it? We have done all the screensavers on this disc. Alrighty. Well, in that case, I'll leave you with a bit of bulldoze bulldozer. Sometimes it's just, I don't know if I haven't had enough coffee, but I just can't say words. It's concerning, to say the least. Thanks for watching. See you again next time, and probably tomorrow if you're here. Goodbye. You know what? I completely missed this one, and this used to be my favourite screensaver in the 90s. Here we go, idle time. Got the little clock that loads up. And that is it. 
It's just a hand that comes down. Obviously, on lower resolutions, it was a lot bigger. 640 by 480, but it used to fill the entire screen, pretty much. And it just does that, and it moves about a bit, and it tells you how long you have been idle for. 20 seconds so far. Changes the font for you as well. Lovely, lovely stuff. I think it was just having a digitized hand moving on screen. I found that quite impressive in 19... 95. I still do. A little bit. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon.